If you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. Rose lives on the corner of Hammers Road and Windsor Road. She is going to pick up her younger sister at kindergarten. Construct a table from the weighted map. So now from A, this is A to A. This is A to B, A to C, A to D and so on, okay? So from A to A, there is no weighting. So therefore, we can put the zero or leave it blank. So I leave it blank. And from A to B, the weighting is 308. So 308. And from A to C, this is C here. From A to C, there is no direct connections from A to C. So we leave it blank. Similarly, from A to D, there is no direct connections. So we leave it blank. And from A to E, there is no direct connection. So therefore, I leave it blank. And similarly, A to F, no direct connection. So we just leave it blank. A to G, you have to pass through H. So therefore, there is no direct connections. So I just leave it blank. From A to H is 102. So just write this down, 102. Similarly, from B to A is 308. So I just write 308. And from B to B, there is no waiting. Or I leave it blank. Or you can write 0. From B to C, is 130. So just write 130. From B to D and from B to other vertices, there is no direct connections. So the only direct connections from B is from B to A and then B to C. That's all. The rest is no direct connection to B. So we just leave it blank. Now on vertex C. So C to A, there is no direct connection. And C to B is 130. Now from C to C is zero weighting or leave it blank. And from C to D, from C to D is 206, so 206. Now from C to E, there is no direct connection, so it's leave it blank. Similarly with F as well. And C to G, no direct connection. And C to H is 298. So just write this down. Now from vertex D, so D to A, there's no direct connection. Leave it blank. So in fact, I, I just quickly work on from D to G first, okay? So the direct connection from D to G is 200. So just write 200 here, D to G. And then D to C is 206. So D to C here, 206. And then D to E. There are only three vertices that directly connect with D. So which is D to E is 113. The rest of vertices have no direct connection with D. So I just leave it blank like this. With E, again, the only direct connection with E is D. So which is E to D is 113, 113. And then another direct connection with E is F. So F is 345. And the rest of vertex doesn't have any direct connection with E. So with F, the only direct connection with F is E and G. So F to E is 345. And then F to G is 118. And the rest, there's no direct connection with F. So I just leave it blank like this. Now with vertex G, the only direct connections with G is F and D and H. So G to D first, okay? So D to G is 200. And then G to F is 118. G to H is 87. And G to G, of course, is zero weighting or leave it blank. And then H. Now from H, so the direct connection from H is A, C, and G. So H to A is 102. And then H to C 
is 298. And from H to G is 87. And the rest, there is no direct connection with H. So I leave it blank. Next question, list all the possible routes from Rose House. So from A to E, there are several routes. So the first one, you can either go this way, A to B, and then from B to C, C to D, and D to E. So that's the first one. So A to B to C to D to E. Or you can write A to B to C to D and to E if you like. And the next route is go from A to H and then from H you go to C, C go to D and D go to E. So from A to H and then from H to C, C to D, D to E. Or she can go from here, A to H, H to G and G along Thomas Street and to D and then D to, to E. So it can also go this way. A to H to G to D and then to E. Or she can go from this all the way to F. So H, G, F and then all the way along here to E. So that is A to H to G to F and to E. What is the shortest distance from Rose House to Kindergarten? So the first route is from A to B to C to D. So this is the one. She go. Okay, see, so we work it out the distance. So 308. So 308 plus 130 plus 206 plus 113, which equal to 757 meters. The other way is you can go along here and turn left and then turn right. There you go. So that is 100 and two plus two hundred and ninety eight plus two hundred and six plus a hundred and thirteen equal to seven hundred and nineteen meters or she could go all the way along here and then turn left and then turn right so that is a h g d e so the distance is one hundred and two at 87, at 200, at 113, and that is 502, so 502 meters. And the last option is you could travel along Windsor Road and then turn left here and all the way to E. So that is AHGFE. So which is 102 at 87 at 118 at 345 which equal to 652 and meters of course. So therefore the shortest distance is A to H to G to D, to E. Now please stop the video and try this one yourself. First of all, of course, we need to draw a table first. And then we just look at the uh, network and then we just write down the weighting. So from A to A, start from here, from A to A is zero weighting, or else we leave it blank. You can write zero if you like. From A to B is 13. And then from A to C, the weighting is 18. And A to D is 12. And there is no direct connection between A and E, so we leave it blank. And the next vertex is B, we need to move on B. So B to A, which is 13. B to B is zero weighting, I'll leave it blank. From B to C, there is no direct connection, so we'll leave it blank. And B to D is seven. B to E is 10. Now C to A is 18. 
C2A is 18. C2B, there is no direct connections from C to B, so leave it blank. And C to C, of course, is zero weighting, or I leave it blank. C to D is nine. And then C to E, there is no direct connection, so I leave it blank. Move on to D. So from D to A is 12. And then D to B is 7. D to C is 9. D to D is 0, but I leave it blank. And D to E is 8. Now last vertex. So E to A, there is no direct connection. The only direct connections from E is B and D. So E to A, no direct connections. E to B is 10. E to C, there is no direct connection. E to D is 8. And the E to E is 0, or I leave it blank. The shortest path from A to E is, I'll just write this down first, A to D to E is 12 plus 8 equal 20. Because if you go A to C to to D, it's already over 20. And then from A to B, already exit that. And then same as this right here. So the shortest path is from A to D to E, which is 20. So therefore, the answer is A to D to E. So please stop the video, see if you can do this one yourself. Now to do this, first of all, so I just write down the vertex first. So this is A, and then B, and C, and then F, E is roughly here, doesn't matter, and then B, E here, and D is directly above B. So A, you can go to B, and B to C, and C can go to D, and D can go to E, and E had direct connection with F, and F direct connection with A. B direct connection with D. There you go. And then of course, we need to write down the weighting as well. So this is 282 meters, so we just write 282, and then this is 120, and then 56 between D and E, 307 for this, and then 113 between B and C, and the weighting for BD is 161. And A to B, the weighting is 140. There you go, this is a weighted network. Part B, please stop the video and Try it yourself. So Peter is on vertex A. So he can go along here and then to the library. So which is from A to B to C to D to E. That's the first option. Or he can travel from here, A, and then to D, D to E. So which is A to B to D to E. And the other one is he can go this old long church street. So to F, and then from F to E. So option three is from A to F, to E. There you go. These are the options. Thank you so much for watching.